That's what your Mavic Air 2 will look like if you don't calibrate the compass, maybe. The compass, the GPS system, and the IMU, or inertial measurement unit, all work together to keep your drone stable in flight. If one of those systems is not operating correctly, good chance you're gonna have stability issues. So when should you calibrate the compass? DJI recommends three different instances. First, if you travel more than 31 miles from the last spot you flew, this is due to magnetic north being different in your new location. Second, if you haven't flown the drone in 30 days. And lastly, if the status indicator lights, which are the lights on the rear prop arms, are blinking red and yellow. Also, I wanna put in there that if you get a warning within the Fly app, you should definitely calibrate the compass. When should you really calibrate it? It's up to you. Personally, I calibrate the compass if I get the status indicator lights that are blinking red and yellow, or if I get a warning within the Fly app. Chances are, if you have a hard landing or a crash, you may get a compass warning. Uh, also, if you fly near metal structures, occasionally you'll get a compass error and it'll prompt you to calibrate. All right, now that you understand what the compass does and why it's important to calibrate, let's go ahead and walk through the steps of calibrating. Once you're in an open area, go ahead and tap on settings and under safety and sensors, you'll see compass, tap on calibrate. And this will tell us to keep the drone away from any metal objects, keep it about 1.5 meters off the ground. When I tap on start, those indicator lights will turn solid orange. I'll proceed to circle around the drone as you can see me doing here. Once the indicator lights turn solid green, I can flip the drone up and proceed to circle around once more. When the indicator lights flash green, that means the calibration has been successful, and that's all there is to it. Pretty simple. All right, you Mavic Air 2 Compass expert. I put a link in the description for Lettuce Drone, where you'll find a lot more content on the Mavic Air 2 and plenty of other drones. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it if you found it to be useful, and subscribe to the channel if you want. Also, let me know what else you guys want to see on the Mavic Air 2. Okay, thanks. We'll see you around.